my name is Hisashi Hashimoto, and uh, uh, I have a very uh, three kind of titles: uh, LPI and uh, Linux Foundry Board and Hitachi. Uh, main work is for my company Hitachi, but uh, uh, today I like to make a presentation uh, as of uh, LPI. I think uh, you don't know that uh, this organization, so I would like to explain uh, uh, in my presentation. <coughs> and uh, today, uh, I'd like to cl clarify that uh, what I will present and what I will not present. Uh, my presentation is, a uh, purpose of my presentation is to explain why we started, our organization started a certification program for HTML5 professionals in Japan. I think that uh, such a certification program is not so popular in uh, outside of uh, Japan because uh, Jap uh, I, I'm not sure why, but uh, Japan, in Japan it is very popular you know, uh, certification program. And uh, this program, uh, this presentation is not intended to uh, a tutorial or <coughs> explain how to use uh, HTML5 or something like that. If you expect that this kind of presentation, uh, I, I recommend that uh, you will go to another room and uh, to choose, choose another tutorials. <coughs> uh, before entering the uh, mainstream of my presentation, I like to uh, uh, brief my organizations. LPI is a uh, abbreviation of a uh, Linux Professional Institute. It is in its main office, head office is located in uh, Toronto, ca Canada. And uh, uh, they we deliver the uh, program, a uh, professional certification program for Linux and uh, uh, PostgreSQL database certification programs. Uh, <coughs> LPI Japan is a uh, orga uh, subsidiary organization of uh, LPI, <coughs> and it is located in the Tokyo area of Japan. And uh, it <coughs> in Japan, uh, we have a uh, more than eight, eighty thousand engineers. Uh, who certificated our programs. <coughs> so, uh, as you know, uh, HTML5 is very, uh, will be spreaded in uh, currently, uh, well, and in futures. <coughs> uh, in this morning, Jim presented that uh, uh, his, in his presentation, he explained that uh, HTML5 is will be uh, uh, a lot of devices and will be used in, uh, uh, in a lot of applications. <coughs> For example, uh, smartphone and smart TV and IVI. In such areas, HTML5 will be uh, used um, more, more and more. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> this, is, this is a, a number of uh, how they will be spread, it was how, how will they used <coughs> in future. Uh, for example, 2.1 billion mobile devices will be uh, will support HTML5 in uh, uh, 2016, or uh, B2B mobile applications will be written in HTML5 in number of a uh, half of number of the applications. Uh, and important, most important, well, most what I want to say is that uh, HTML5 technology is uh, number one of job trend. Uh, uh, this means that uh, if an uh, engineer or developer doesn't have a skill, <coughs> they <coughs> uh, doesn't have a skill of HTML5, it is a very good uh, motivation to hire or to be an <coughs> employer. <coughs> and uh, oh, uh, next, uh, I'd like to explain uh, what's the difference between uh, 
uh, current HTML5 and uh, uh, new HTML5 in a, from a point of uh, architectures. Uh, basically, uh, it's when uh, HTML4 is a uh, uh, display function. You know, browser, browser is running on the client side. And uh, this, basically, browser has a uh, display function uh, and uh, that display function will display that uh, what they uh, are sent from a uh, uh, server side. Uh, almost application logic and uh, image handling or image creation will be done on the server side. So that um, database also will be on the, <coughs> on the server side. A uh, lot of things, almost things will be done uh, uh, in a server side. Uh, but in a HTML5, <coughs> uh, application logic or display logic will be done both sides. And, uh, and database also will be uh, <coughs> uh, both uh, client side and the dead, uh, server side. Uh, for example, an uh, uh, application will be we used uh, sensors or input devices uh, such as uh, <coughs> geologic GPS, and they send uh, such uh, GPS data or location data to application, and then they uh, search the database and they uh, client side uh, they application uh, modifies that such data, then display. So that uh, in a programmer or a developer in a new age or a developer for HTML5 have to think that uh, distributed application logic. Uh, <coughs> so uh, new professional uh, Skills required for HTML5 developer or professionals are very different from those of uh, skill set of uh, HTML4. First thing is, uh, architecture, as I said, architecture model is very changed. Uh, when uh, writing a HTML4, a, a, uh, excuse me, when uh, put, developing a HTML5 for website, they only care about the uh, display function. But, uh, and the uh, application logic will be done on the sub server side only. But, uh, when uh, professionals or developers writing a website or using a HTML5, <coughs> they have to think about what function what, what logic will be done in a client side and what will be done on a server side, uh, thinking about the performance, network performance, server performance, and client performance. And uh, they, have, they have to think that uh, how performance will be increased or efficiently improved by uh, which load will be done and uh, client or server side. And which, what data will be exchanged between client and servers? And, uh, <coughs> so, uh, we, uh, LPI, we, we think uh, we should define or we should provide that, that what the skill set will be necessary for a new age uh, developers or, or for HTML5. For you, our expectation is for engineers, this, this standard, uh, this skill, this certification program will be uh, uh, what skill to be learned for them or what skill to be necessary for his, his or her careers. Or for employers, uh, what they using this, if the uh, candidate 
have uh, this certification. They, they employers know that uh, they are very enough. They have enough career to hire. <coughs> and uh, we <coughs> define when we started that uh, certificate uh, developer certification program. We uh, categorized the two levels of uh, uh, such developers. First, developer no novice or low level developers, and uh, second is uh, high level developers. We define that each level for skill set. <coughs> uh, this is, is a uh, skill set. Uh, oh, excuse me. This is uh, uh, what skill should be necessary for uh, level one, low level developers. <coughs> uh, we divide it into in, uh, four sets. Uh, first is uh, uh, they can develop a static content using uh, HTML5. This is very low skill. And they also can do uh, design and develop web contents which uh, uses uh, uh, high visibility. And third is uh, they can develop uh, contents which are learning, which can be, which be, will be enabled, able to learn uh, a lot of devices. Uh, and last one is that uh, uh, they can do work, their work with a collaboration of team members because uh, uh, this is not a technology uh, engineering skill, but uh, uh, almost web design or web development will be done in a team, uh, not, not only one engineer, so that uh, they, they, one of the skills will be uh, uh, they can work with other team members. <coughs> uh, this is a is, uh, uh, skill set, concrete skill set of level one we are uh, expecting. Uh, most part of most uh, part is a tag and the CSS3. Uh, this is the most new part, new function of the HTML5. So, for example, tag. Uh, of course, the uh, HTML5 pro, pro developer must know that uh, both of uh, HTML4 and HTML5, so that uh, they know that uh, legacy one and the new one in HTML4. And uh, as for CS3, this is introduced in a, a HTML5, so that, and they support uh, they support. Uh, <coughs> Uh, script and, and uh, they know <coughs> uh, this is functions. And the other one is the basic knowledge of it. <coughs> and to, uh, uh, to uh, all right, not okay. To improve that performance, they have to know that only a disk, uh, uh, script or writing, or not only a script writing, but also a uh, protocol, what protocol will be uh, on the network, so that uh, uh, we have to include, uh, we include that, uh, this knowledge of protocols or format. <coughs> and uh, we also include that the uh, network or server technologies. Because uh, as I said, uh, uh, architecture with the HTML5 is a, a distributed architecture so that uh, they have to know that both, not only a client side architecture, but also a network and uh, server architectures. <coughs> uh, this, this is for uh, uh, 
high-level professional skill set. <coughs> we, we think that uh, we have to, ah, that high-level developers should, know, should do uh, design and develop web applications and which, uh, ha, which have a, a rich user interface with high usability visibility. And next, uh, they also can develop a dynamic content, uh, which will be around on a, uh, a lot of device, uh, many kinds of devices with high performance. <coughs> and uh, also they can do a, uh, develop a web application which will run on both uh, server and the client side, and uh, they, which have uh, uh, intercommunication between uh, server and client. And in addition to uh, such engineering skill, uh, we think that uh, they have to have a management skill of a development team. Um, <clears throat> this is a concrete uh, detail distribution of a skill set. Uh, for example, in a, uh, storage, uh, storage means a, a file application interface or something like that, and display function skill set includes a, uh, web, uh, sorry, uh, canvas or SVG such new functions for display. And, uh, there are a lot of new applications such as the geolocation APIs or offline application APIs. This includes a, uh, application cache or web storage. And uh, uh, portion is small, but uh, performance or communication is very important because uh, logic will be run both on a sub client and servers, and there are a lot of communication between them, so that how to improve the performance, how to efficient the communication <coughs> network. So we uh, would, would like them to know that performance analysis or performance improvement skill. <coughs> and this is for a schedule of such uh, program development. We, uh, we ask for help to development. Uh, we ask uh, Japanese HTML5 uh, consortium to help us uh, to develop uh, these certification programs. And uh, we currently uh, done a Beta examination programs in Japan, and uh, we distributed it to uh, uh, some, some engineers to check that it is fair and enough skills. Uh, we would like to uh, release at the first version of a examination in the next January. Okay, that's my presentation. Is there any question or comments? Oh, could, could you use a uh, microphone? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a little bit in difficulty of hearing, so. Um, the difference between silver and gold examination Oh, sorry. Uh, when we did uh, 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 this examination to outside or public, we use uh, a gold and silver because uh, for, uh, instead of uh, level one and uh, low level and uh, high level. In Japan, uh, low and high word is not so good for uh, engineer because uh, low. Uh, that means uh, very impression is very bad. <laughs> so what I use, we use uh, the, this word. It's the same silver 
Silver means a low level, and gold means a high level. Excuse me. Uh, could more information available about it on the web? I've just tried to look up the Linux professional website and I couldn't find much information about it. Is there anywhere where we can get more information? Uh, we, we have a web website, but uh, it is not uh, English. Yeah, you've got it on the, the Japanese one. Is it, you can, is it just going to be in Japan? Is it going to the Canada LPIs and Europe LPI? Or what's the... Uh, mainly this is uh, developed by uh, Japan. LPI Japan, so and uh, we would like to propose this certification program to uh, Canada LPI, but uh, still not. We are uh, we are still not do it. Okay. Uh, Yes. Uh, such certifications are very important in Japan. Yeah. Do you have an idea why? And um, if you compare different markets. Uh, I don't know the market in United States or in Europe, but in Japan, uh, a lot of engineers uh, would like to uh, certification icon on a, their business card. If uh, when uh, they contact uh, customers, they the exchange the business card and the uh, customer understand that uh, they have a skills, enough set, skill set. Uh, Japanese likes, Japanese customer does like such systems. So. Yeah. Have you tried to promote this, this initiative, for example, with the Web Foundation from WPC, for example? Uh, this sample is very secret because uh, uh, this, uh, we are de delivering uh, the beta examination to or limited to engineers, and they have to uh, sign at the NDA and, uh, because uh, uh, <laughs> it's an uh, examination, so, so that, uh, it's currently secret. No, but actually, for example, about Consortium, that is if, the one that is the final recommendation. Uh, Uh, Currently, I have no answer. To that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, currently, uh, uh, we are developing only. Uh, we are developing uh, with help from uh, uh, Japanese team, Japanese web uh, HTML5 team. They are con uh, they have a communication between uh, uh, W3C or something like that. So I think that uh, uh, they, they know that activities of W3C or they are reporting to us, our activity to a such worldwide level. Uh, LPI Japan itself does not contact W3C itself or such worldwide. But uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, we would like to uh, expand uh, uh, this certification program to worldwide and make it standard uh, worldwide level. So what I, I, we have, I, th my, I think we have to contact directly to such worldwide organizations, but still not done. Okay, thank you very much.